G'day everyone, Wild Flower Squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm in the Brisbane Qantas Club lounge shower, a uh, shower room. I actually just landed on a from a Qantas A330 from Darwin. I'm here for transit, so I can't really show the check-in or security here. But basically, yeah, I got off the plane straight to the lounge, and uh, not all the shops are open because of COVID. State borders restrictions are still in place. Um, and if you want to watch that Qantas A330 trip report, you can find the link in the description down below. So now I'll show you a bit more of the Qantas Club here at Brisbane Airport. At Brisbane Domestic Airport, Qantas has two lounges, the Qantas Club and the Business Lounge. Qantas Gold members and One World Sapphire Flying in Economy can use the club. Those in business or One World Emerald members can use the Business Lounge. So food-wise here, it's mainly small bites like a sandwich, sausage roll and salad. The lounge is quite old, but despite that, there's lots of charging points, which is great. So for dinner, I got myself three sausage rolls, a soup and jasmine green tea. Now let's try out those sausage rolls. They're one of my favorite Australian food. And oh my God, it's incredibly dry. And now here I am again in the shower room, gonna show you the shower room tour. So, let me switch hands. Pretty decent and beautiful and nice here, as you can see. Very bright. You can tell it's been renovated not too long ago. Got the toilet here, and then the shower. You can ask for the towels from the uh, lounge reception. Before long, it's time to go back to Adelaide and I got myself a takeaway chai latte. Boarding has already started before I even got there, so let's hurry up. Our aircraft today is a 10-year-old Qantas Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel, Victor Zulu Lima. The exact same aircraft I flew two days ago from Adelaide to Darwin. If you want to watch that trip report, I'll also have the link in the description down below. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Going home now? Mm -hmm. Long day. Long day. And my seat today is 28A, the third last row in economy. Space. If you are seated at a bulkhead or an exit row, all bags need to go in the overhead lockers. Please close lockers if they are full and take your seat as quickly as possible to keep the aisle clear. Thank you. Our cabin crew from the galley is actively handing out headphones and also helping people to put their bags away as they board the plane. Boarding has completed and the cabin crew are preparing the cabin for takeoff and I got an entire roll. Andy McKenzie and all the crew it is our pleasure. Have a wonderful evening. We would like to welcome back our Qantas Emirates and Qantas Business Reward members on this Qantas flight 667 to Adelaide. It is great to have you with us. Please place any larger bags into the overhead lockers, smaller bags underneath the seat in front of you, and any handheld devices in the seat pocket. If you are seated at an exit row or business class, row one or cabin baggage must be placed into the overhead lockers. Make sure that you are in your allocated seat with your seatbelt firmly fastened. We're a bit delayed, so I'll take this time to show you the seat features. Ridiculously, there's no coat hook. There's a TV, you can adjust the position and a USB port next to it. Under that, you'll find a tray table. You can pull it back and forth, but you can't fold it. And then further down, you'll find a standard seat pocket. Leg room here is 30 inches, which is okay for a short haul flight like this one. My leg, however, does touch the seat in front. I'm too lazy to go down and show the power socket, but there's one down there. And finally, there's a headrest for everybody. It's adjustable and soft. I wonder what's going on to that 737. It looks expensive. There's Wi-Fi on this 737 and you can use it before we take off. It's really easy to connect. Simply connect to it on your setting and then watch a short video ad and you're connected. 
Now I'm using Instagram with the Wi-Fi. Oh, hello, Callum, looking good there. And then you click on the story icon. It takes just a few seconds to load. It's not bad at all. That's my sister's account. Our flight to Adelaide today is delayed because something's wrong with the cargo loading. So every seat has a TV and I'm now going to show you the content. So the touchscreen isn't too bad, it's not as good as the newer ones on the 787. You have to click on the button to slide, you can't just use your finger to slide it. There's a good selection of movies and there's also a flight map. So today I'm flying all the way from the top end, Darwin, to Brisbane and then Adelaide. If you look carefully to the winglet, it's moving up and down, it's because the cargo is being loaded onto our plane and literally the whole time it feels like a bolt ride. service began very shortly after takeoff and I believe there's only one option today which is the vegetarian quiche. The crew was very nice, she said there's a lot left in the trolley so she gave me another one. Now it's time for taste test. It's pretty delicious and it tastes really healthy. Drinks came later, I got a steel water and a tea. After the meal service the cabin crew switched off the lights so people can have a nap. Hello, welcome to Qantas 737 Economy Lavatory at the very back of the plane. 
is a quick lavatory tour. So 737 renovated lavatories are very tiny. Uh, look at that basin. You can only fit one hand. It's really small, so the designer from uh, Boeing utilized a lot of mirrors to increase, you know, that sense of spaciousness. You've got two cookbooks, which is fantastic. Boeing really has put a lot of thoughts in that. All this is past row one. All cover baggage must be returned to the overhead lockers. And please place your seat, put rest and tray table in the original positions. And finally, please make sure your window shade is open and your seat belt is fastened. COVID-19, domestic travel restrictions may be in place, so please ensure you have checked the latest government advice and that you are eligible for entry to your destination. If you are not eligible, you may be denied entry or required to undertake hotel quarantine, possibly at your own expense. If you do have any questions regarding entry requirements, you should contact the relevant government department on arrival. And please be advised it is an offence to bring certain items into South Australia. If you are carrying fresh fruit and vegetables, plants or seeds, please give them to a member of our cabin crew for disposal or dispose of these items in one of the quarantine bins in the terminal. And be aware restrictions are currently in place on moving some fruit and vegetables within South Australia due to the recent fruit fly outbreaks. To find out what you need to do, please visit fruitfly.sa.gov.au. Thank you. If you wonder how I always get the whole roll when the plane is not very, very empty, here's a trick. So people tend to sit at the front, and so do I. So I always pick the first few rows when I fly on a 737. So when I booked this flight, I booked 5A, and then when someone picked 5C, I moved backwards to, I think, 10. And then eventually someone picked the aisle seat at 10, so I couldn't have the whole roll for myself. So I continued moving backwards, eventually I ended up at 28. So this works best when the flight is not completely full and you're flying by yourself. If you're flying with another friend or a partner, leave the middle seat empty, pick the window and aisle seats. Chances are no one wants to sit in the middle, so the middle seat will be left empty. Because say you book a window seat and a middle seat, chances are someone's going to pick that aisle seat. I hope you find that helpful and now let's conclude this trip report right here, right now. So today we have very friendly cabin crew. As I boarded the plane, the cabin crew had a bit of chit chat with me and then the other cabin crew in the galley actively went to the aisle to help people with their bags and giving out headphones and during the meal service they gave out second and third rounds. The cabin crew also came around the cabin multiple times on this short haul flight to collect rubbish. Our flight today is past dinner time so we didn't exactly get a dinner box, instead we were given a small quiche but nonetheless that was really really delicious and I think it was quite healthy I hope. And finally, for your information, today I paid $280 for this one-way journey from Darwin to LA via Brisbane. Thank you so much for watching this trip report. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this one. Now here we are, One World Fly Squad. When you start flying again, please don't forget to tag me with this magical hashtag on Instagram so I see where your journey is taking you. Due to daylight saving, my weekly upload time is now different in some countries and states. It's still 12pm Hong Kong time every single Thursday and 2pm in Queensland and now it's 2.30pm in Adelaide. If you're new to my channel, you definitely don't want to miss out on those weekly trip reports. Click subscribe and the bell buttons right now so every time when I upload, you'll get notified right away. I also upload some content on my Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat pages, so go check them out. I also offer memberships on Patreon and YouTube directly. So that's it for today, thanks again for watching, enjoy the approach and landing into Adelaide Airport and finally after disembarking I'll show you part 2 of my Darwin vlog. Enjoy, bye bye.
9.36pm. On behalf of Qantas, we would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. As the seatbelt sign is still on, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Smoking and use of e-cigarettes is not permitted while disembarking or throughout the terminal. Just a reminder, carry-on baggage may have moved in the overhead lockers and could fall out, so please take care. Don't forget to check your seat and seat pocket for any personal items. You must continue to wear a face mask as you exit the aircraft and in the terminal building. And please take all leftover mask or wipes with you and dispose in the general waste bin. Once the seatbelt sign is off where possible, please maintain appropriate distance between yourself and other customers as you disembark. If you can reach your mobile phone, you can switch flight mode off now. And on behalf of all of us here at Qantas and One World, we do thank you for choosing to fly with us. If you are visiting Adelaide, we hope you enjoy your stay. And of course, to those returning, welcome home. So good morning from Darwin. At the moment, I'm taking the bus to Kajarina Square, which is the largest shopping mall in the state of Northern Territory. One thing I find super cool is that they play the radio on the bus. Annoyingly, Darwin today recorded a COVID case, which is the first time in ages, and it's a traveller from Newcastle, New South Wales. It's unreal that you don't have to wear a mask here. Don't ask me why, but I bought some popcorn, which I'm going to bring back to Adelaide. Hi. How old are you? I'm you say you're under age. 21. <laughs> Guess who's in the gym? Me! I'm now gonna go out and watch the sunset and get Zambrero. I'm craving for Zambrero. If you don't know what Zambrero is, um, just keep watching. I'll show you. Oh shit! There it is, I'm so happy. It's been five days since I've had one. So I'm gonna find a nice spot to have my Zemi and watch the sunset. So I just realized Darwin is basically a city right next to a cliff. I think I found the perfect bench that I want to sit on. So here's my Zambrero bowl. I went for pork, um, lettuce, corn, cheese, sour cream, onion, and for sauce, I picked um, truffle. That's extra 50 cents. So I'm back in my room, I was doing a little bit of editing and now I'm watching the TV. Now it's day three, also my final day here in Darwin. Amazingly, buffet is allowed here in the Northern Territory and I'm having such a great time. Chai latte. So it's now time to check out, I'm gonna show you how i'm gonna go to the airport so i just checked out i'm now walking to cavenor i think i pronounced that wrong cavenor street to catch a bus to bunnings it's flipping hot it's now like only 10 30 in the morning it's like 32 degrees uv index like nine here's the bus stop and thank god there's shade oh my god hot by me I feel really stupid holding this puff jacket here in Darwin, but then um, I really need it the moment I touch down in Adelaide. Like, I can't wait until baggage recon. It's that cold, I think. No to zero protest rally uh, in better parts. Don't... So I just got off the bus and um, Bunnings just across the bush, but I'm going to wait for my Uber here at the bus stop with the shade. So my Uber driver is going to arrive in about five to six minutes. Is actually driving all the way from Darwin, but this way I'm actually saving like 20 bucks. 
um, Darwin City to the airport's about 33 from here to airport's about 10. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.